Hey Bloodstrike Warriors, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the latest and most electrifying striker to hit the battlefield, Kayinda, the high-tech hunter straight out of Africa. If you're looking to dominate the competition with precision and power, then stick around, because I'm breaking down everything you need to know to master Kayinda and make your enemies think twice before crossing your path. Kainda isn't just another striker. She's a force of nature. Armed with a customized combat bow, she's all about tracking, hunting, and eliminating her targets with deadly accuracy. Her skills make her a nightmare to deal with, whether you're hiding behind cover or trying to outmaneuver her on the battlefield. Let's get into those skills and how you can use them to your advantage. Skill 1. Phasing Arrow. Kicking things off with Kanda's phasing arrow. This skill is a game changer. After charging, Kanda fires an energy arrow that pierces through walls. Yeah, you heard that right, through walls. This isn't just about dealing damage, though. The phasing arrow also slows down enemies, making them easy pickings for you or your team. So when should you use it? Here's the trick. Use phasing arrow to catch enemies hiding behind cover or trying to escape. Aim at choke points or common hiding spots to catch multiple enemies off guard. The wall piercing ability lets you maintain pressure even when enemies think they're safe. Just remember, the arrow takes time to charge, so be strategic about when you use it. Don't rush your shot. Skill 2. Scouting Arrow Next up, we have the Scouting Arrow. This skill is all about gathering intel. Kainda fires an arrow equipped with a scouting device that, once it hits, starts detecting sonar signals, revealing enemy positions. It's like having a UAV that you can shoot across the map. However, enemies can destroy the scouting device, so be smart about where you place it. Want to get the most out of Scouting Arrow? Use it before pushing into enemy territory or when defending an area. Fire it into high traffic zones or objective points where enemies are likely to be hiding. The sonar signals will give you and your team the upper hand, especially in close quarters combat, where knowing the enemy's position is crucial. Now, here's how you can really unleash Kanda's potential. Combine phasing arrow and scouting arrow for a deadly combo. Start by using Scouting Arrow to reveal enemy positions, then follow up with Phasing Arrow to strike through walls and take them down. This combo not only gives you the upper hand, but also keeps your enemies on the back foot, constantly guessing where the next shot will come from. Kainda is best played as a close to mid-range striker. Her bow requires precision, so don't get too close unless you're confident in your quick reflexes. Stay mobile, Use her skills to control the battlefield and always think a few steps ahead. Remember, Kayinda is a hunter. Stalk your prey, strike when the time is right, and don't give them a chance to recover. And that's a wrap on Mastering Kainda and Blood Strike. With these tips, you'll be turning the battlefield into your personal hunting ground in no time. If you found this guide helpful, make sure to hit that like button Subscribe for more Blood Strike content and drop a comment below on what you're most excited to try out with Kanda. Stay sharp out there and I'll catch you in the next video. 